Yo, 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 welcome back to another Live With Purpose live stream. How are you guys doing today? It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Let me know how the music is. I'm rusty now. <laughs> how is it going, everyone? I hope you guys are doing well this Wednesday evening. We are back. We missed a week last week, and that was because I was out of town spending some family time. And, uh, you know, we hit up Disneyland for the kids. Uh, first time uh, actually going. No, this is the second time we're going, but I feel like this is the first time we really got some, like, good stuff out of it you know what i mean like we had a good day we planned it we got up early headed out there met up with some friends and it was a good time we saw some friends there too which was kind of awesome but uh fook Dussel says oh no not another pre-stream poll this is literally the first time i've done a a pre-stream roll okay a pre-stream poll all right this is the first time let's not complain about that okay i'm just trying to stoke some attention here i want to hear what you guys think one knife every edc enthusiast should have that's i think that's a good question i think that's a good question because i mean we're going to talk about it today i want to talk a little bit more about what a, what a knife should be to you what what type of knives you should have on your person depending on what you're doing depending on what your use case is but also i mean what should you just buy you know what i mean like in this day and age there's all sorts of price points there's budget there's uh super premium there's customs and everything in between so really what do you really do what do you really how do you start that journey how do you decide uh what to get for yourself or you just win one in a giveaway you could just win this guy <laughs> i feel like i have a feeling a lot of you guys are here for this but you know come for the giveaway stay for the good times i hope but uh we got a good set of giveaways for you as you can see right here our giveaway sponsors this evening are urban edc and tortuga backpacks i recently released a video talking about a travel backpack we did a little challenge we tried to fit as much stuff as we could into that thing and uh really kind of see uh what we could do with it but uh thank you to urban edc and tortuga for sponsoring this tonight's giveaway we got a little prize package from urban edc that includes that little nafs urban edc collab uh, with the Chaos Segai Ha. I think that's what they're calling it. If you can tell, that little milling there on the scales, that's not regular Segai or traditional Segai Ha, I should say. But they've dubbed it the Chaos Segai which looks pretty awesome to me. I think it looks pretty cool. And on top of that, we got a Zero Feud single clicker. Also with the Segai Ha, the Chaos Segai Ha etched in there. And finally, we got a lanyard. We got a lanyard. This is, I believe, Frankenworks Urban EDC collab with the Sega High in there. <clears throat> Excuse me while I hydrate. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see. Let's see. Ian Coates, first in the chat, says, I'm about to win this. I hope you do, man. I hope you do. I know you're, I know you're feeling it tonight. I know you're feeling it tonight. Kelly O'Neill says, good luck to all. What's up, Kelly? Thank you for coming through. Henry G says, good luck. Ian. I, f I feel like the fates are going to smile down on the Ians tonight. Is Phytonics here? Is Ian Phytonics in the house? Wonder Woman EDC. Good to see every one of you guys in the chat. EDC Knife and Tool Trev says, hey, yo, Branch in the in the chat here with the pocket check. People got my Pete's Pirate Knife folder on me. Nice. There you go. There you go. Let's see. I see Marco in the chat. Alpha Prime EDC. Paul Casper says, hi, Ron Kwok. What's up, Paul? What's up, Paul? Good to see you, man. Thank you for coming through. Manic Cuz says, happy Wednesday, everyone. And congrats, Manic, for winning uh, Mikey Daily Carry's most recent 7K giveaway stream. You won something there, I know. Uh, I think some other, uh, there's, there's another person in here. I think it's Brian Kerr. Congrats on winning something from Mikey Daily. And you're going to win a mystery Live With Purpose RE version 2 from me. So that's on the way. That's going to be coming to you real soon. So hope you guys all enjoy your goods. But how's the music? Please tell me. How's the music? Can you hear it? Because I can barely hear it in my monitor. And so I, I really have to sit down and really figure this out. But I feel like you guys can hear it pretty good. Alpha Prime EDC member for an entire year. Happy anniversary, bro. Love you, dude. Ron, you beautiful man. Hope you have a fantastic live stream as always. Fist bump. Keep up the great work. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I can't believe it's been a year already. And a lot of you are members in the chat. So please throw those emotes in connecting. I think... Is there... Are we having lag issues? Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, speed test. Let's see, let's see. What's going on, y'all? Did we get wrecked? I'm checking the speed right now. 
Wait, we should be good. We should be real good. What's in, what's going on here? We need a lag emoji. <laughs> Are we back yet? Okay, I think we're back. I think we're back. It says we're in excellent condition. Okay, I think we just got a hiccup. Comcast is throwing me for a loop right now, but it looks solid. I think we're back. Angela says you froze on me. Okay, Jack Jack says it's working. I think I think we're good. Okay, if we you know what? I really think we do need a lag emoji. Who said that? Who said that? I dedicate the upcoming lag emoji to you. Whoever said that? <laughs> okay, so, 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 so. We, if you guys didn't hear, Mia has been a member for 12 months. Thank you so much, Mia. I hope that didn't get cut off. But we need a lag emoji. Yeah, says Ian. Yeah, we do. We do. The music does add some vibe. It isn't offensive. Says Ray J. Thank you, Ray J. Your music's pretty good too, man. <laughs> What's up? I think I see, I saw Ian Phytonics in the chat. I think I saw him in the chat. What did he say? He said, hey, Ron, glad to hear you got some time away with the fam. Yeah, seriously. I think it was much needed. I think it was much needed. And, uh, you know, it was a good exercise for me, too, because it allowed me to kind of set up some content while I was away and to have that flowing for you guys regardless. So um, it's cool, man. The, ed the editorial calendar is flowing. I love it. I love it. Chris Valdez with the hype emotes. What's up, Chris? Good to see you, man. Chris, e Chris Valdez, House of Blades. Use code PURPOSE. Save yourself a little bit of cash on your order. But I hope you guys are doing well, man. I hope you guys are all doing well. Okay, so let me get through this poll real quick. I want to see what y'all are doing. All right, so everyone says 50%, 51% says you got to have a folder. If you're an EDC enthusiast, everybody's got to have a folder. Uh, followed by a Swiss Army knife, that's 22%. Fixed blade, 20%. And finally, an automatic knife, 7%. Now, I, I think I agree with these. I agree with these. Because folders, I feel like if you think about a pocket knife, a folder is the most common. You know, it's easy to put in the pocket. Uh, you don't require sort of its own holster, its own clip, or a belt, for that matter, to hook that onto. And uh, it's simple. You know, if you start going into sort of the multi-tool territory, then we're not talking strictly about knives, and then that's a whole separate world. And, you know, Swiss Army knives come in a close second because of that. You know, there's a knife in there, but there's a few other things that, that are in there. We're talking about a flathead uh, driver. We're talking about a corkscrew, perhaps, depending on the sack that you get. Uh, and it's pretty, it's pretty popular, like, iconic-wise, right? That red plastic scales on the, the Swiss Army knife. That's kind of always been the look and feel fixed blades after that i think this is where it starts getting more niche right i have a fixed blade myself but i don't find myself using it at all because a i can't legally carry it outside of my home um without you know just slapping it open carry style and i think that i don't think that's something that i want to do that i want to do uh so you know that's already kind of like a, a ding for where i am regionally but also, you know, when you get into the fixed blades, when you get into the automatic knives, there are other limitations that you have to think about. For example, automatic knives, uh, I believe in California, uh, they have to be two inches or less. Anything longer than that, blade, blade length wise, you can't really do anything with. And then uh, also uh, automatic knives, I learned this recently, they have to be made in the US. You can't, they can't be imported. So that already brings the price point of automatic knives higher so that may not be something that's achievable for everyone so this distribution looks good to me um folders that i have in the pocket um i want to start from the beginning i want to start from the beginning before we get into this thing um my first like quote unquote real knife was this ferrum forge drop collab falcon and it's fun it's got the uh it's got the spidey hole right there open it that way it's got the back flip here open it that way and this is my first real one like my, my buddy pressured me into it and uh you can tell it's my first one because it's all jacked up like it's scratched it's i mean i've tried to put an edge on it again or like sharpen and it's just oh it's bad like it i think it looks it doesn't look as bad because of like you know the highlights are, are kind of blown out but oh man it's it's got some scratches in there and you know i feel like i i know a lot more about knife maintenance now than i did before but this was definitely like my experimental knife this s35 vn steel um titanium frame really fun frame lock and uh yeah i learned a lot about this thing and about knives in general when i got that moving right along i got the para 3 as a gift for my birthday a few years back this is the para 3 maximet uh these are some flytania minimal scales here they're flat 
real good stuff uh i tried i tried putting these skills on manually i don't know if you can tell but there's a gap there um where the blade is and the two skills there's a gap and it's not perfect i tried tightening it i gotta kind of rejigger it and kind of do that thing uh alpha prime edc says ron when are you getting a rosie i don't know maybe i'll buy one of the two that you have why do you have two rosies bro why do you have two rosies if you're in search for a rosie alpha prime's your man he's collecting he's over there collecting um i don't know when i'm gonna get a rosie man it's gonna be a while i feel like it's gonna be a while but you know and uh i, I did that snake not lanyard on this it's been a real fun to carry learn the the spidey flick you know what i mean compression lock closing that up and then now now i got the malibu operator from protech and uh, you know I've, you've seen this i've kind of beaten this down uh flat button lock tritium inlay all sleek all matte black dlc coating and there's you know no branding on it whatsoever clean clean i love it ian says don't get a rosy there's so many other interesting knives out there yeah, you know what's funny? Uh, we're going to talk about this in a little bit. I searched, like, best pocket knife the other day. And uh, y'all heard of Forbes. Y'all heard of Gear Patrol. They have, like, EDC knife roundups. And they've narrowed it down. The best pocket knives of 2024 chosen by EDC experts. And if you look at this, you've got only the big names. You've got Benchmade, Gerber, Spider Spyderco, Kershaw, Victorinox, right? And that's it, right? But there are so many other knife brands that I've learned about just by attending Blade Show. You know what I mean? And, you know, here we're talking about a whole slew of budget knives with Civivi. We we talk about more premium knives like CRK, um, Oz Machine Company. You know, all of these different knives, knife brands that don't make the quote-unquote cut when it comes to, like, articles like these. So I think that's really interesting to see that, like, oh, and also it... It says in the title, chosen by EDC experts. Then we can really get into it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> who's an expert in what field? All that stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, yes. Yes. Everyone, one punch that like button, says Alpha Prime EDC. I appreciate that, man. Um, again, the giveaway. We're going to be doing the giveaway. We're going to be doing the giveaway at 100 likes. Okay? Last time we did this, we blew, we blew the likes out of the water. So we're going to do it at 100 likes. If we can get 100 likes. We're gonna run this giveaway and uh give these knives a new home you know what i'm saying i'm gonna i'm gonna give this one a new home we've got some clickers some fidgets we've got some lanyards and we've got a travel backpack we've got a travel backpack that we're gonna give away all right and we'll talk more about that in a little bit uh let's see mia says ron it has character yes it does absolutely that ferrum forge knife has been through it for years with me at this point and uh there's not one quite like it because this one smashed to the ground <laughs> It's smashed to the ground. Chris, I saw your picture. I think, I don't know if it was a picture, but I think you talked about being at Disney. So you went to Disney World. I was about to say, like, if you went to Disneyland, we, we could have linked up. But he's still on vacation from House of Blades until Monday, but I'm going to be popping up for the live at five. That's awesome, man. That's really cool, dude. And I like that you guys are doing live streams on YouTube now. How's that been? How's the YouTube live stream life been compared to doing lives on Instagram? I know we talked about it a little bit but uh i want to hear your thoughts man ray j says never apologize for use knife isn't that the point yes absolutely i absolutely agree and i feel like you know that question about which knife is perfect for you i think you're never going to be able to answer that question until you really figure out you know what you you're going to use it for what knives you like and it's not something that can be answered by looking at a picture or uh you know watching a video you kind of have to get it in hand and have a feel for how it opens, have a feel for the weight of it. For example, the first time I picked up a Chavez Redencion 229, it, the pictures didn't do the weight justice. Like it was so heavy to me because I haven't had much experience at that time. I hadn't had that much experience holding a pocket knife, seeing what that's like, even though it does look beefy, you don't really know until you put it in the hand. And then of course the Kickstop collaboration really threw it over the top for me. It was a, a really nice knife. Barbarian Brawny in the house says, I like the live streams from HOB on YouTube much better. Absolutely. I think it's a different vibe, isn't it? Like, and I remember me and Chris were talking about the fact that the, the fact that there's a horizontal setup is a lot easier for two people to be on stream for you to really, you know, have a comfortable conversation, you know? <laughs> Can't wait for my Chavez to arrive, says Brad. You bought another knife? 
What do you mean? <laughs> you have another knife coming? You got two roses and you got more? Carl Conti says, yo, 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 hello all. What's up, Carl? What's up, Carl? Good to see you. Thank you for coming through, spending your Wednesday evening with me. That list has been the same for five years since Paul. Oh, the, the Gear Patrol or the Forbes? It says Knives of 2024. But that's the thing, though. Like, all these brands that are on this list, I feel like they're really, like, old school brands that have been around for decades. You know what I mean? And once they kind of hit an iconic one, like, everyone knows what a Benchmade bug out is. That kind of just stays at the top. Like, that was the best pocket knife overall. But I feel like 90% of you guys here would beg to differ. You know what I mean? So, it's, it's interesting how these lists are. I mean, I guess EDC isn't exactly top priority for Forbes when it comes to web articles but you know if you're gonna do the thing you should do it right or at least spend some time on it not not to say they didn't but you know you know what i mean <laughs> alfredo says can't wait to get my hands on a rosy xl oh that's right i heard that they were releasing one of those it's it, it looks mighty it looks mighty that's what i have to say about that i haven't held one in hand but i know rosy is just so smooth like i think it's because there's a double detent and when I flip it out, oh, it just, it's so smooth. It's smooth. It's so smooth. Seriously. Chris says, it hasn't been smooth. I have a new appreciation for you putting these live streams together because there are so many moving parts and things that can't go wrong, but it's very fun to talk to the community. Yeah, dude, the live streams, I feel like learning the live streams is very multitasking. Like you have to figure out, you know, when to do the sound effects, when to do the things, right? And it's all like, it's almost like improv to me. I feel like when you're carrying the conversation, you kind of, unless you have a, a bullet point of topics to go through, which I kind of do, I have, I always have something here, but I've looked at it less and less as time goes on. Uh, when you're doing a live stream, you kind of just have to learn how to riff and just like go off of the chat, what people are saying. Black Sparrow EDC, BS EDC is in the house. What's up, dude? <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? But you have to just figure out you know how to how to carry that and how to keep going which i know you do well because i see you do it on instagram live and it's great but you know the buttons the changing of the scenes you're like very much in your own pilot seat what's up earl lollibert's in the house says yo what's up earl what's up earl the very first member of the of the purpose crew what's up man good to see you good to see you ryan flegel in the house says what's up guys just got back from the gym what's up man would you work out today speaking of the gym i did chest day today um my my little one my second kid is approaching four months old and he's he's getting to the point where he's sleeping more regularly he'll sleep through the night i'm not up every two hours tending to him which allows me to get more rest which allows me to finally get my fitness right you know what i mean like a lot of people think fitness is just about going to the gym and lifting weights but it's about the eating it's about the rest it's about the sleep if you don't have good restful sleep it's gonna be bad it's gonna be bad mikey barbarian brawny can attest you know he's he's been a lifter at, at the highest level a bodybuilder at the highest level and he knows what's up and he knows what's up what ian coates gifted one membership thank you so much ian i appreciate you doing man throwing your hat in ian i, I feel like this is a first everybody everybody throw your emotes up for ian and for marco who was gifted that sub by Ian. Thank you so much, Ian. I appreciate your support, man. It's a good, it's a good celebration. I feel like it's a good celebration. That's for sure. That's for sure. Marco, let's go. Ryan says he hit back and biceps today. It was a good workout. Excellent. 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 I feel like I'm trying to do this new split now where it's going to be, I think it's going to be legs, chest, back, shoulders, and arms, or maybe shoulders and arms in one and then rotate. Cause then each kind of group will have three days of, of rest time. So I'm going to give that a, a try for maybe a couple months and then we'll see where that goes. Barbarian Brownie got monetized this morning on YouTube's for ads. Can't wait to earn my 30 cents a year from YouTube. Hey man, you joke, but when that video pops off, when you make that long form video that pops off, that's going to earn you money. That's going to earn you. That's going to pay a one month's bills maybe, <laughs> but you just got to keep going. Don't think about the money. Just keep putting the reps in. Congrats, dude. Congrats on getting monetized. That's a huge step. That's what? 4,000 watch hours, a thousand subscribers or something like that. That's excellent, dude. I'm proud of you. You've come a long way. Uh, let's see. 
Lately, I just surprised chats with memberships, says Ian. Ooh, Ian's feeling generous. Ian's a generous boy today. <laughs> well, I appreciate the support. None, all the same, dude. All the same. Uh, let's see. Duke Cannon AD. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> but, man, this is interesting. This is interesting. When I was, uh, when I was at Disneyland... I, uh, I messed up, you know, I'm going to have to admit something here that uh, I maybe shouldn't. But um, when I was packing, you know, as a new parent, I, I think I'm still relatively a new parent because I have two kids, one who's about to turn three and one who's about to turn four months. So I have two kids, but they're still very young. And I feel like I haven't walked this long journey of parenthood that some of you guys have. And um, I went to Disneyland. Earl Oliver gifted five memberships thank you so much earl the og member of the purpose group thank you so much for your support man and who are the five lucky people that are gonna enjoy this generosity we got molden Lab, we got jack jack we got alfredo we got bsedc black sparrow uh where's the fifth and barbarian brawny the brawny himself thank you so much thank you so much earl man you're a g you're a g thank you thank you thank you thank you you guys use those new emotes you guys just got access to I'm really proud of those emotes, man. I'm not I'm not contracting those out. I'm doing it myself. I'm doing it myself. Okay. But like I like graphics, I like design, and uh making those meme emotes have been sort of the highlight of the month. I think. <laughs> Here, maybe I should pull up like high resolution graphics of it so you guys can see. I think that'd be fun. Like look, let me see. Let me see if I can do this. Emotes. Final. Okay, here we go. You ready for this? Are you ready for this? Here, check this out. That's the hype emote right there. <laughs> Isn't that sick? I'm I'm kind of proud of it. I'm kind of proud of it. I don't know. Like, I, I tapped into my inner, like, DBZ. He's going Super Saiyan, like, 13 right now with that. I don't have any hair, so I don't, there's no there's no black hair that'll turn gold, unfortunately. But, you know, it's, it's, it's in the inside, okay? It's the spirit that counts, all right? We got the hype emote. We've got, <laughs> we've got the, we've got the Saitama, the Ron Tama, the Quak Tama emote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we've got the OMG. I look genuinely surprised, don't I? Like, it looks like, it looks like I saw someone drop their knife for the first time on a concrete floor and chip their edge so hard that it's going to take them hours of grinding to get that edge back. That's what it looks like, right? Tell me. Tell me that doesn't look like that. And then we got the RIP, like... That, that is also the face I would give someone if they dropped their knife on a concrete. <laughs> I think that's it. No, no, we got the taco. We got the, we got the Quaco Bell. We got the Quaco Bell. I wanted to put my face in the taco, but uh, I couldn't find good ways to do it. So that's, <laughs> that's, just, that's what it's going to be, guys. And then, of course, the Ultim. The Ultim. Got to do the, got to do the, the piss plastic. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jack Jack says 70 hardness magna cut. What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> Brad says so inner Saitama of you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, kaleidoscope of knives. KOK. -okay. Mr. KOK. -okay. Evening, everyone, he says. How you doing, man? How you doing? Good to see you. If you feel moved and just got a membership, keep the membership gift train going, says Ian. Thank you. Thank you. No pressure, though. You guys are all good. We're just chilling. We're just chatting. <laughs> Earl says, okay, Ron, what did you get me for our anniversary? He asked. Well, I gave you the opportunity to win maybe like a $500 worth of gear tonight if we call your name. That's what it is. We've got this Urban EDC NAS collab lander. This is, I believe it's 165 or thereabouts and it comes with another set of scales here i'm gonna open this box here this is the box that it comes in it's kind of cool it's uh it's uh airing towards sustainability and by the way if you guys want this giveaway to kick off nice and fast i believe we're at 38 likes right now if we get 100 likes no we're at 49 if we can get 100 likes we're halfway there already and it's only been 27 minutes um actually it's been sooner I, I think i got on at like 05 so 
It's been 20-ish minutes, and uh, we're already halfway there. So as soon as we get that, we're going to pop off. It comes with an extra set of scales. This knife is brand new, in box, never cut. This is a different one. This is this is mine, my personal one. <laughs> but this one is going to be the one you guys get in the box, still in the plastics. And uh, it's dope. It's cool that, I mean, uh, a cool feature of the lander, actually it's highlight feature, is that you can change out the scales. It's a open source scale, so anyone can get 3D prints of any design they choose and kind of slap it on themselves. It just takes a couple screws to pop off and that's it. You don't have to disassemble the entire knife. It won't come out into pieces. It's not desperately hard to put back together. And uh, it's good. It's good, right? And uh, on top of that, we got some more Chaos Segaiha winnings for you. A zero feud clicker for you fidget fans. And we got a lanyard here. If you guys are tired of the snake knot, button knot stuff that I put out, uh, you can get this awesome, what is this like? It's Frank, It's from Frankenworks. I'm trying to see if there's like material. Well, it's an urban EDC collab there. And it looks real dope. Look at that. Ryan Del Rosario says, awesome knife. It is, it is. Pocket size, real fidgety, easy to use, drop point knife. Carl Conti says, watch your vid on the Maxpedition pouch you loaded out. Just finished mine. Thank you. Excellent. I hope you get some good use out of it. I think the Maxpedition pouch that I have right now, the one that you saw loaded out in that video, I think it's sitting in my car. And it always has been. <laughs> it's It comes in clutch when, when, when I need it. But, you know, of course, that comes far and in between. But it's still great. Ian says, sustain these nuts. And let's not, let's not take the chat towards the degenerate direction this soon guys <laughs> uh jack jack asks how long do i have my channel membership for it's one month it's one month from today so enjoy the use of those emotes early access to videos when they publish early and uh you know be a part of an exclusive purpose crew community if you guys haven't already joined the discord that's where we have general banter on edc gear bags slings what have you people post their awesome pics i feel like everyone in the chat is a creator you know what i mean that happens it's very accessible these days as long as you have an iphone or a smartphone of some kind you take a picture of your gear you post it up on social media you're a creator and everyone has a unique eye for things you know what i mean and personally i like the aesthetic side the minimal cinematic side I try and get the lighting right. I try and get some epic views. But everyone's got their own perspective. And that's what you can see in the EDC picks that are posted on our Discord. So it's free to join. Go ahead and click the link that the Nightbot is kind of littering in the chat every once in a while. And uh, join join the community. Ian says, I'm here from Tri-State. I was born in Degeneracy, molded by it. <laughs> Dang it. Where is that from? I, I know it's in my... I, mean, I hear it. I hear it. I'll figure it out. The exact name is It's the Sega. Sega I had the end. Ah, nice. Are you talking about the bead? Ian? I like it. Uh, Alpha Prime says, I do consider myself an EDC content creator, but it's so hard to be consistent. I think it's just a matter of picking a cadence that's right for you. Because everybody thinks that, you know, on Instagram to succeed, you have to post a reel a day. You have to post, like, two pictures a day. And, you know, litter, litter the day with stories. And it, it all gets too much too soon, you know, very quickly. So I think just pick a cadence that's good for you, even if it's one photo a week. That's better than not posting at all and getting burnt out, right? So, you know, and that's just Instagram. You know, if you throw in YouTube, you throw in live streams, you throw in short form, long form, all that good stuff, it can get pff, right. Paul FTW, Bane, Dark Knight, yes. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. It's a good movie. I just haven't seen it in so long. The Piss Night Rises, says Fook Doozle, yes. <laughs> Earl says he's sitting up in his hotel room in Indianapolis for work. I'll be here for a month. Tough being away from the family. Glad to have the EBC family to ease the pain. Damn, that's crazy, man. That's rough. Good on you. That's admirable, man. Being away uh, from, uh, for work at months at a time. That's rough, dude. Like, I, I know from a productivity perspective, you're probably like, man, it's going to be really easy to get to work because you're, you're away from the family, no distractions. But... I know I would miss them in a heartbeat. I know you would too. So uh, good luck out there, man. I hope it's not too hard of work. Enjoying your digs, enjoying your hotel room. Wobbly Brute says, what's your opinion of the Boker autos? I haven't actually tried one myself. I haven't held one, but I know Boker is a very storied and reputable company uh, with roots in Europe. And so I think they, I mean, I think there's a lot of 
I think there's a lot of um, I think there's a lot of R&D that goes into it. There's a lot of history. There's a lot of prestige. And so short answer, I haven't held a Boca Auto, so I can't speak on it personally. But I hear a lot of good things about what they do over at Boker. Let's see. Uh, I was riffing on the Dark Knight Rises, says Ian. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. What's your opinion on the Fox? Uh, O-X-Y-L-O-S-F-X-6-1-6-M-B, <laughs> says Case Cooper. Let's find out. Let's take a look. Fox na uh, knives. O X L O S F X six one six like like six one six the Marvel Cinematic Universe six one six. That is intense. Let's see how long is it. It might not be intense if it's not okay. Blade length is five inches. Okay, it's really intense. <laughs> I don't know if I've held a blade that's five inches long. Hunting knife. Okay, there you go. That's exactly why I haven't held it yet. I think the only thing I've hunted is for like, like Jack in the Box tacos at one in the morning when I'm super hungry and hungover and I need something to eat. That's that's the closest I've gotten, bro. Oh my goodness. But that's awesome. It looks solid. Are there any other pictures of it? See, this is the thing too, when you're shopping for knives, unless you have background on Fox knives and you have background on what type of knife you're trying to get and you're just, you know, you're just going online to buy it. It's difficult to get a handle of what the knife is actually like. Get a handle, you get that? You get that little, the punniness, did you catch that? Like, I mean, I see, you know, some scales. I see some G10 scales that are screwed on. I see uh, what looks like a full tang knife because a uh, blade because you can kind of see like the frame back there. I don't know if it's hollowed out in there for weight. I see some jimping. I see a, a big finger choil, but I have no idea how that feels in hand, right? So that's probably why you want to go into a retailer like House of Blades or attend a convention like Blade Show. So you can really see what these blades look like in the palm of your hand. So you can get a glimpse of, okay, this is what it feels like. This is what I would use it for. This is how heavy it might be. You know what I mean? So my thoughts, that's a big old knife and I can't carry it, unfortunately. <laughs> but it looks solid. Look at that big belly knife. If I knew how to hunt, I could probably speak on how useful this might be. But I cannot. <laughs> Ryan Flegel says the only thing Ron hunts for is good knife deals. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I can't hear well what's being said, but this knife looks dope. You can't hear well what's being said. Is it because I'm far away or is it because the music's too loud? Caleb Evans says Olight's Butterfly Pry Bar is sick. Olight's Butterfly Pry Bar? Olight's Butterfly Pry Bar. Titanium mulch shot multifunctional. Oh yeah. Um You know what's interesting? I feel like some of you guys have gotten a hold on it too, but Olight has like side brands like O di like O O buy or something like that where there was a butterfly knife that was like a fork or a spork or something like that and it was like marketed as camping or outdoor gear here let me show you the uh, this is the knife this is the butterfly pry bar that that we just mentioned um, it looks cool and I feel like butterfly knives valley songs they're always fun to they're always fun to like deploy and flip around and stuff. And see, I like this listing because it shows multiple views of the tool in question, side view so you can see what's in it, a uh, lifestyle photo so you can kind of get a glimpse of this dude looks like he's a tradesman, he's trying to pry this super rotted, you know, screw out of there with a pry bar. So you can kind of get a feel of the use case here. Uh, whether or not it's successful in doing these types of things for any period of time, that's going to be, you know, that time is going to be the test of that. Uh, uh, along with looking at the quality, the materials, stuff like that. Sturdy titanium build, grade five titanium alloy. All right, resistant to rust and corrosion. Spot on. That looks that looks really useful to me. I like this better than the fork one. Says <laughs> Barbarian Barney. Why? You can't eat with the fork one? Ugh. Well, it's got a bottle opener. It's got like, uh, it's got a hole here to drive different size nuts. <laughs> and and uh, you've got a little pry bar here with a little spot here for screws, kind of like a hammer. It's nice. It looks solid. How much? 85 bucks. Well, there you go. 
this costs more than um, some actual Bally Song trainers. There you go. Brian Kerr says, I'm going to have to look into that probably because why not? <laughs> yeah, that's the main reason. Where's the fork? Fork butterfly. Is it going to show here? Oh, look, they got a comb. That's $100. I don't have any use for that. Sucks. <laughs> and then, oh, okay, so it doesn't show the fork. But I know it exists. I know it exists. Somebody asked about a new Olight knife. Are you talking about... Are you talking about uh, the Freeze? Like the Freeze 3? Because the Freeze 2 is over here. Oh, there's a 4. You know what this reminds me of? Just like at a glance, it reminds me of... It reminds me of the Praxis. Or like uh, the Elementum. Something like that. Because it's the same... It's the same green. And then just like at a glance, okay? Don't be overlaying these images and saying, Hey, it doesn't look like... That doesn't look like it. That's just what it reminds me of. 154 CM. Excellent edge retention. There you go. Does it show the OEM? Because I know I know that they work with an OEM. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Imagine actually prying with it, though, says Jack Jack. I know, right? Who knows? Who knows if it'll actually do something? And, you know, one thing that I've realized with the smaller prize that are out there. Let's check how, uh, where we are with likes. Cause I want you to win these things. And if we're, if we're inching too slow, we'll just do it at the end of the giveaway. I don't want, I, we are going to give it away at the end of this thing for sure. We're going at a hundred. You know what? Maybe I should throw this up. Maybe I should throw this up for y'all. So there's a goal. So there's a goal. <laughs> but anyway, one thing I've learned about smaller prizes is that, you know, in order to pry things effectively, you need leverage. And so while it's great to have a pocket pry bar, hey, just in Ohio, new subscriber. What's up, Justin? How you doing, man? Thank you for coming through. I don't know if you're sitting here in the stream right now, but glad you're on board. Glad you're on the journey with me. But pocket prize. Uh, I have small prize. I have medium sized prize. I have a crowbar, a big old pry bar. And I feel like the bigger it is, the more leverage it gets, but also the less precise it is, right? So it depends on what you're using it for. Are you trying to pry something that's just embedded in there that's really stuck on there? You might need a longer pry bar in order to really figure it out, you know what I mean? To really uh, solve that problem. But, you know, if it's light duty tasks that aren't really embedded in there, smaller pry bars shine because they're pocketable, they're minimal. Earl, you're a G. 199 Super Chat says, the Olight Rubato 4 in Ultim. Okay, we're going to have to look at that just for you. Just for you. Thank you for the Super Chat. Thank you for supporting the channel and this live stream. I always appreciate it. Earl, my man. Let's see. The Rubato 4 from Olight. Ooh. Man, you always get me with this Ultim stuff. You've got a crossbar lock. You've got some shiny, polished steel O-Knife branding. I think uh, I think Ian said it best back there. He said, he said like, oh light, oh buy, oh deal, oh my god, so many brands. <laughs> Stable and smooth rail lock. So they're calling it a rail lock for this one. That's what he's doing. Earl Oliver with the 199 super chat. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amber to transparent PEI. So uh, another fun fact: Ultum is a brand name, whereas PEI is actual like material that is ultim right so high strength durability temperature st stability lightweight construction how long is this thing a solid solid drop pointing knife got a thumb stud crossbar lock looks like it's got good fidget potential a very subtle choil there for the finger some jimping up there for the front flip can you front flip maybe i don't know that looks like a hard shape to front flip hey Alpha Prime EDC with a 999 super chat. Come to Blade Show Atlanta. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the support and for the love on this live stream, man. You're a G. You're a G. Absolutely. Uh, Blade Show Atlanta. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna figure out a way to get there. In fact, I looked at tickets earlier today and they were, they weren't out yet. So I don't know when they're gonna drop exactly, but they ain't out yet. But that was of this morning. That was as of this morning. I don't know if they are now. See, it's purple. I'm not lying. I looked. They're not available yet. No. This is the right. Yeah, Blade Show 2024. Yeah, they're not here. 
Damn, that's crazy. 10 a.m., 9 a.m. Okay, cool, cool. But yeah, man. I'm going uh, I'm to be there. I'm going to be there. So anybody going to Atlanta? Sound off in the chat. Sound off in the chat. Yes, Caleb, Atlanta, Georgia. Absolutely. David Hurst says, hi, gang. What's up, David? What's up, David? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, Apple Prime EDC said, just room with me and Ian Coates. We have a spot. Already? Damn, you guys are early. Chris said he got his tickets for Blade Show Atlanta. How did you get your tickets? Oh, I, mean, I guess you're an exhibitor, so you could do that. Can I buy it? Oh, I can buy it here? Hmm. I'll have to look into it. I'll have to look into it. I thought I could get it on the website, but... Well, here's the thing, Alpha Prime. You said you're late. Well, all the hotels were booked, like, the day after. Like, the day after Blade Show was locked up. <laughs> Chris... Chris Valdez is a member for 10 months. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate your support, brother. Enthusiast tier level. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ron, I got a link for you. I'll text you so you can get an early bird now. Hey, they <laughs> thanks, man. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hit me up, bro. Hit me up. Alfredo says they dropped, but they're on the universe site. Okay, for sure. I'll take a look. I'll take a look. I'm, uh, I'm not doing my due diligence there. Golly. Uh, let's see. Going to Atlanta. Staying with my sister in Marietta, says David. Nice. I'll see you there, bro. I'll see you there. Um, Tim is going to his first show, the NY Custom Knife Show in New Jersey. Nice. Enjoy yourself. What, uh, knife are you trying to bring home? Or what knives are you trying to bring home? Uh, anyway, back to this Rubato 4 knife. It looks cool, man. I think I'm gonna have to pick it up at some point. But there are so many, like, Ultim PEI knives out there at this point. I'm gonna have to tap my boy Cole to piss Prince. <laughs> in order to everybody throw those old Ultum emotes in the chat just to show just to show who's who's really the piss prince out there but <laughs> but i'm gonna have to ask cole which Ultum knife he likes the best because i feel like there are a lot out there now and man like the bear the Ultum bear by tactile that looks dope um i know the hogue deca has been in a lot of people's minds we've got the civivi praxis i've got the mini praxis uh in Ultum, that polished one Cutting Edge Dives, explore our Ultim Infused Collection. Like, real steel. Look at this picture. Oh, it's magnificent. That looks tight. Although, the Ultim is dark. It's pretty dark. Not as uh, honey potty as some of these. The real steel Moonin. Moonin. The Pathfinder. The Hugin. Where did they come up with these names? Real Steel Hugin and the Real Steel Moonin. I wonder if they have like an explanation description. Here we go. The Moonin, the Moonin from Real Steel. Known for its symmetrical design. I don't know. 119 for this one. And then the Hugene is 129. Maybe Hugene is huge. So it's Hugene. <laughs> Mikey Daily Carry, remember for 10 months, initiates your level. Thank you so much, Mikey. I appreciate you, man. You said, let's make Blade West happen again, bro. Uh, You should make Atlanta happen. You should go to Atlanta. That's. You've already been to West one time, so you already know how it goes. But Atlanta is going to be, oof, that's that's going to be on another level for you, bro. I feel like that's going to be on another level for you. You're going to have a good time. Like, Atlanta, it pops off. Ian says, Hyojin and Myojin. Okay, man. <laughs> if that's how you say it, cool. I don't see no whys, though. I don't see no whys. Too close to baby born time for me, says Mikey Daily Carry. Ah, makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. You get a pass, sir. Uh, Blade Show Atlanta 2025 for Mikey Daily Carry. <laughs> but, okay. Did some of you guys sound off on what types of Ultimate Knives you like best? Ah, Hyojin and Myojin are Odin's ravens in North Norse mythology. There you go. I like that. I like that. That, that renews some curiosity and and uh, intrigue for me thank you i like i like mythology norse is fun 
Greek, Roman mythology, Japanese mythology, all that stuff is, is dope. Ian says, not at all, Ron. Later, I'll have to do a voice thing in our GC. Yeah, I want to hear it. Give me your seven second uh, voice clip and then I'll clip it and use it on live stream. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, got you boys taken care of, says Chris. Hey, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hit me up. Uh, Gabe says, ABW Model 1 in Ultim is one of my favorites. ABW Model 1 Ultim. A warning. Let's see. Hmm. I see that. It immediately looks like the form factor of the leak, the Kershaw leak, but it's probably different because it's priced at $200. It's American Blade Works. I don't know if it's made in the USA. I mean, it's American Blade Works, if I were to guess. <laughs> probably made in the US. Country of origin, USA. Nice here. I'll show pop this here. That is the Model 1 version 6. Let's go. Liner lock. Ultim, CPM Magna Cut. Oh my goodness, I've never seen like texturing like that ever on a blade. That's interesting. It reminds me of like the Zen Garden stuff. You know how like uh, in Japanese culture where uh, Zen Gardens they have uh, they have patterns kind of etched into the sand in in um, like around bonsai trees and stuff like that. That's tight. That's cool. Two hundred bones. For Magna Cut, though, I guess that makes sense. Please note the blades may look darker in pictures because they are due to lighting issues. It's because they're due to you didn't hire me to make your photos, man. Hit me up. <laughs> but uh, you can just bump the exposure a little bit, drop the highlights, and uh, turn this into a beaut. Would love to take some awesome photos of this. Made in North Carolina, says Gabe. Nice. Nice, nice. I like it. Two. Uh, let's see. Alpha Prime going for the win at Blade Show. What win? Going for the win. I, I think at Blade Show, I'm hoping to get a Rosie. Man, your third Rosie? Or, okay, here's a question. Which Rosie is your Grail Rosie? I, I think it's hilarious that I have to even ask that question because a Rosie in and of itself would be a Grail for me. But what, what Rosie would be the Grail for you? Because I know you have the putter, the putter pattern. You might have the Silver Surfer as well. Kelly O'Neill is back. Says hello to Ron and everyone. What's up, Kelly? I saw you in the chat earlier. I saw you in the chat earlier. How you doing, Kelly? Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness, Caleb! My wife and I just had our daughter six and a half weeks ago. Congratulations, dude. How's life? <laughs> how's life? Is this your first child? Is this your first child? And how's your sleep been, man? It's I already know the answer to that question, but maybe you maybe you got lucky. Maybe you got maybe you got mad lucky and you're having the time of your life. I'm sure you're having the time of your life regardless, but uh Olight has a sale tonight. If you sign into their website, you get money off, but it's tonight only and it comes with a free light too. Says Henry G. Alright, I'll keep that in mind, man. Depends on the sale. Depends on the sale. I think for me right now, in terms of knives, I'm coasting right now. I'm coasting right now. I've got a, I've got more knives than I can and than I can make content on. So I'm coasting right now. I think my next big purchases uh, are gonna be like Creator Ford stuff, like cameras, equipment, stuff like that. Um, perhaps the Osmo Pocket 3, if you guys are creators and haven't uh, looked into the Osmo Pocket 3, I think it's a great solution for vlogging and for making content. Comes with a mic if you get the creator combo. Um, but it uh, might be something like that for a little bit. And then, you know what? I think I'll show up to Atlanta with a budget. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show up with like a legitimate budget and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go on the hunt. What do you guys think I should get at Blade Show Atlanta? I like folders. Um, I think in the past, my so to give you a sense of like my style, I like you know blacked out knives, but I also like just really smooth, minimal aesthetic, good feeling knives as well. So I enjoy uh, the Spyderco Para Three uh, Maximet, right? Um, knives that I'm thinking about getting next are the Koenig Mini Arius, uh, perhaps the Flipper Delete if they have it there. Then um, I think. A Rosie would be in the works, but I don't know if it, it's going to be Atlanta. I think like, I think I want to give 
myself time to cook, you know, with my knife journey. Uh, Mike and I says, get a Narrows and take, a, take it apart on a live stream. You mean you want me to spend six hours of my life trying to figure out a bench, <laughs> a bench made? <laughs> Dude, bench made knives are dope, but like taking them apart is tough. Like, I mean, I don't think they encourage you to take apart their knives because I think it voids the warranty. But, you know, if you decide to do so, it's not so bad. But like, if you, it like, I spent, I tried to, I took apart the full immunity, did a full tune, did a full clean, and then putting it back together was like probably 70% of the time that I spent doing it. Like, I took it apart, cleaned it up, you know, made sure everything was good, and then as I started putting it back, I started running into problems. Uh, Jack Jack says the Discord link doesn't work for me. Okay, let me get a new one. Let me get a new one. Discord is interesting because depending on what type of link you produce, they might expire. Although I I set it so that it doesn't expire, so I don't know why it would. But here, invite people. Let me get this. Edit invite link number of uses unlimited never expires. Generate a new link. Copy. All right, this is it, y'all. This is it. Uh, join the Live With Purpose Discord. There you go. And then I'm going to pin that thing. Maybe I won't. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Pin, pin, pin. All right. There. It's pinned, y'all. Where are we at right now? We're at 70 likes. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. 70 likes. 70 likes. Let's figure out what and where, shall we? I really appreciate you guys spending the time with me on this live stream, hanging out with me. But uh, let's figure out what we're going to do. We're going to do Alton Park Knife. Hmm. You know what? Uh, let's just go to our boy, our boy Cole's Alton Breakdown. Here we go. Love it or hate it, Ultim is here to stay, says Cole. Well, here he is. Look at that handsome mug. Look at that handsome mug. Can you squint and get his address? Maybe not. But look. Look at this guy. And he's talking about Ultim. Oh, look. Oh, I thought he opened the I thought he opened the box and and it wasn't <laughs> there was nothing in it. But here we go. Here we go. Look at this thing. Let's see it. Oh, he's unboxing the FG. I'm so jealous. I have an I have a Civivi uh, FG, but it's not or a Vision FG, but it's not the Ultimate one. But look at this thing, man. Oh my God, he's combing his mustache with it. Anyway, let's join this giveaway. Go ahead and go to this video. I'm gonna go ahead and post this right here. All right, go to this video and type in Ron loves ultim <laughs> okay go to the video go to the comments and type in ron loves ultim three words a space between each one ron loves ultim exactly spelled just like that and show your boy cole some love hit that like button i'm gonna go ahead and hit that right there okay subscribe to his channel if you haven't already he does knife breakdowns like there's no tomorrow he's very funny he's a very personable guy i got the pleasure of meeting him at blade show atlanta last year and he's a riot he's an absolute riot love hanging love hanging out with the guy he has a lot of insightful things to say but he also has a lot of degenerate things to say which is great you know jeremy hallstrom you spelled ultim wrong man the best thing to do is to just copy that that comment and paste it you know i want to make it easy but not too easy okay and uh <laughs> and to reiterate this is what you can win. This giveaway sponsored by Urban EDC. We've got the NAFS Urban EDC collab lander with Chaos Sega scales as well as smooth G10 scales or rounded K uh, G10 scales. It's in the box. They're interchangeable. Very easy to do so. And this one is also... It's also an M390, okay? The original lander uh, is made of D2 steel. I don't know why I left that out, but this is an M390 blade, y'all, okay? Black DLC coated goodness, M390, okay? Comes with two sets of scales for you to swap in and out. You'll also get 
the zero feud single click with the chaos segaya etched in there beautiful bronzy goodness and then finally you got that frankenworks edc lanyard feed okay that's what's up for grabs okay jack jack has just joined the discord thank you very much i appreciate that i hope you have a good time in there and uh, randomly i'll pop in and, and chat with you guys and and join the channel and hit y'all up see how y'all are doing so we in there gabe says that is sexy yes sir yes sir alpha prime says you responded to my text with your own what do you mean oh ian <laughs> chill with the text bro uh, Ray J, ultimate, meh, but if you love it, rock on. Personally, I don't jump on trends. This is true. This is true. I think it's important to take trends as they come and really evaluate for yourself whether you like them or not. Because if the trend does you the service of, you know, putting you onto something that you didn't know about before and you like it, what's not to love? What's, what's, what's wrong with that? You know what I mean? And, uh, but if you jump on a trend simply to jump on the trend, and then let's say last year was JG10, this year's Ultim, and then next year it's, I don't know, clear, resin, composites, X-Pack scales, and you jump on that simply because that's the trend of 2025, then maybe evaluate where you're spending your money and what you're putting your attention on. But as Cole is shredding this magazine page to shreds with this, Oh, 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 maybe not so sharp Vision FG at the factory. <laughs> we got a little snags, but you know, that's fine. That's fine. Really consider why you jump on trends and what you want to do. You know what I mean? Everybody's saying done in the chat. I'll give it a, I'll give it a minute or two. And then we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I personally prefer titanium. Anything says Mia, like full size titanium. I get it. I get it. Like this urban EDC F 5.5 with an ultim beat on it from combat beats absolutely like the first f5.5 i got was the blacked out one but there's just something about this full tie that just speaks to me and i'm pretty sure brandon edm everyday minimalist if you're not subscribed to him what are you doing subscribe to his channel help him get to a milli uh but this thing he put me onto this and at the time i wasn't really into like super shiny stuff like polished titanium or anything like that but Hey, look, Cole's waving by. Look at that. He's so cute. He's so cute. What a guy. What a stand-up guy. But originally, I, I wasn't on to titanium as much as I am now. Just because, you know, over time, your taste will grow. Your taste will change. Brian Kerr says, have yet to get Ultim. Doubt I will. Not my style. That's fine, you know? I think, like, there's been a polarizing opinion of Ultim in that it looks like piss plastic versus it's an intriguing color that has layers to it. So it just depends on what you think of it. You know, at the end of the day, it's clear yellow plastic, right? So uh, if you, I mean, if you want to be heavy handed in that description, that's what it is. So if that doesn't speak to you, move right along. You know what I mean? Who am I to tell you what you do with your money? No P plastic says Ginger Fisher 75. That's cool, man. Only way I'd have Ultim is if I won it, says Fook Dussel. This is true. And based on how much we talked about Ultim, I should have, that should have been the, the subject of this giveaway, but it's cool. I feel like we'll have to settle with this awesome M390 collab knife. I think that's just what's going to have to happen. Okay, YouTube comment picker. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, here we go. We're going to go through here. We're going to copy this thing. Uh, I'm going to test it. I'm going to test it just to make sure it is right. Keyword. Ron loves Ultim. Hey, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ron loves Ultim. Continue. Boom. There's 49 comments. Okay, I'm gonna redo the search so you guys can see. I'm gonna draw it right now, people. This is your last chance. Ron loves Ultim on my boy Cole Tri State EDC's Ultim Night Unboxing. This is the YouTube comment picker. We're gonna throw in the YouTube video link there. Custom keyword filter. We're gonna do Ron loves Ultim. We're gonna slap it in there. Boom. We've got 49 comments. Who needs a win? Who needs a win? Kelly O'Neill. Let's go. Kelly O'Neill was at the beginning of the chat and now she's here. 
says ron loves ultimate congrats congrats kelly congrats on an awesome knife i hope you enjoy good luck to you all good luck to you you won kelly this is you good job i know you're in the chat so what i need you to do kelly is to go over to instagram and dm me at live with purpose edc dm me at live with purpose edc go ahead and dm me and i'll get you squared away with uh verifying your identity and getting these shipped out to you so congrats i hope you enjoy this awesome collab of an to this thing look at this thing it's pocketable it's useful it's fidgety it's interchangeable it's m390 the nafs urban edc collab lander among other things congratulations kelly and thank you again to our sponsor for this giveaway urban edc thank you so much hope you enjoyed this one but don't leave yet because we got one more giveaway and i wanted to break this down a little bit for you recently i posted a video uh about traveling with one bag now it's tough because traveling with one bag is freaking hard because you got to figure out how you're going to fit everything. You got to figure out what you need to take with you. And on top of that, you need to be able to pack it into a bag that you've chosen that's right for the job. You know, is it going to be a 30 liter? Is it going to be a 35 liter? Is it going to be a huge 60 liter duffel? It depends on what you're doing. It depends on where you're going and how long you're going for. Right. But at the very least, you know, we're talking about we're talking about a bag that you can take on a plane carry on style and it's not going to give you any issues right it's shaped like those tsa bag sizers that they have at checkout or at the check counter and i mean look at how rectangular that is right it'll fit into that thing so as long as you don't stuff the living hell out of it which we do in this video and it it stands up to that it'll be a great companion for traveling i would say for a weekend for three days pushing it with four days um to give you some context i am a i'm an urban commuter so i typically take my stuff in a bag go from point a to point b crank out a few hours of work at a coffee shop or at the office or something like that the home studio come home and unpack right and maybe i'll stop by the gym i'll have a small change of clothes in there or something like that and that's what i do right so in the bag i'm gonna have as a travel weekender bag i'm gonna have some clothes obviously toiletry bag a tech pouch my edc pouch of course for all the extended tools and accessories i take with me and of course an editing rig right a laptop with some peripherals like headphones a mouse all the little accessories and knickknacks that come along with that and that all has to go into one bag and you know people don't like to check their bags because it costs so damn much it's like 40 dollars a bag but on top of that, on top of that, it's a pain. You got to wait at the baggage claim. You got to, uh, if it gets lost, you're screwed. You got to go hunt it down. You know, God forbid you lose your entire editing rig. I see everyday minimalists in the house. Mr. Brandon says, sup, gents. What's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Thank you for stopping by. I know you're a busy boy. I know you're a busy boy. But this thing, the Tortuga Travel Pack 30 liter, this thing is pretty mighty okay this thing is big it's 30 liters here i'm gonna pull up the website for you real quick so you can check it out for yourself this is it look at this thing okay travel backpacks and they've got a 40 liter they've got a 30 liter this is the one i checked out i didn't pack it quite like this because i had a lot more stuff to pack and i use compression cubes in conjunction with travel backpacks because i feel like you can optimize your space the best when you do something like that you know what i mean and then as you go through, you can see that it's made, it's designed for carry-ons, right? It's designed to fit into the overhead bin. It's easy to pack with. So, you know, what's funny, this, comp this little side pocket here, it says that it's a, uh, it has a large mesh pocket. And I think somewhere here, it says that it's good for dirty clothes. But personally, I put dirty clothes separately in a plastic bag so that it doesn't smell up the backpack. But regardless, the mesh pocket makes it easy for you to just see inside what you have in there this lady right here has her toiletries in there loose i would probably put it in a toiletry bag but you know everyone has their own quirks when they're packing and that's great right you got durability you got abrasion resistance you got waterproof materials water resistant zippers 
Shell 200 is the material. It's similar to X-Pack. I'm sure you guys have heard of X-Pack or have seen it, but this is the bag, right? And, you know, I go through the features here. You can see me kind of put it on, model it around, so you can kind of see I'm 5'8", 160 pounds. Ian says, how does it relate to a turtle? Tortuga is turtle in Spanish. Yes, I thought about that. And it looks like a turtle shell on your back. Perhaps a little more orthogonal and rectangular than a typical turtle would be. But I think that's the thing, you know? It's the shell on your back. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't scientifically test this, but it seems to be pretty durable. Like a, like a turtle shell, perhaps. Or you can have, you know, twin katanas in there so you can be uh ninjas and turtle shells that lady is unhinged just throwing that shit in there <laughs> says paul that's hella funny that's quote of the night that's comment of the night right there that lady is unhinged just throwing that shit in there <laughs> i hope she's not low-key like the owner of tortuga because that'd be pretty funny <laughs> but i know they offer compression cubes toiletry bags tech pouch that you can add to this setup oh dude check this out right here this is the thing look at this this mechanism here that allows you to change the height of the backpack as you're wearing it. So if it sits too low on your body, you can adjust that backing and it's attached with like a big sheet of Velcro on the inside or hook and loop, if you will. And it allows you to determine how high that sits on you, which is awesome, which is awesome. Brandon says he is busy. How are you guys? What are you working on, Brandon? I know you're grinding and stuff, but what are you doing, dude? What are you up to? I haven't actually, I feel like we haven't spoken in too long, man. We haven't spoken in too long. Oh, yeah, the ghoul. You've been messing around with the Null Knives ghoul. Good stuff. But anyway, this is the this is the this is the video. Okay. And what you're gonna do is go into the video. If you enjoy the video, give it a watch. If you enjoy it, hit that like button. If you didn't, that's fine. Go into the comments and type in um carry on only carry on only there comment carry on space only all right go ahead and comment that in the comments of the of the video we'll let it run for two minutes or so we'll pick the winner oh you guys see that little live with purpose data crew collab shirt in there <laughs> had to throw it in there i think there are a few shirts uh, still available over there if you want to check that out for yourself spider pajamas spider-man pajamas aren't those fun they were on sale after the holidays and uh you know your boy likes to sleep in style so we had to get some of those we had to get some of those is this a pre is there a prerequisite to entering palmer no you only have to type in that in your in your comment or uh, yeah you only have to type in those keywords into the comments of the video that's all and uh you gotta be here Okay, you got to be here to, to claim your prize. If you don't, if the winner doesn't claim their prize, then uh, I'm going to have to do a redraw. You know what I'm saying? Packing for a month was on a different level, says Earl. Dude, I can only imagine. But I don't think you pack for a month, right? I think you probably packed for a week. And then you're probably going to be able to do laundry or something at the hotel, right? Or have laundering service. Oh, duh. Where's the video link? There you go. Ian, you're a mod. That's your job. That's your job. Angelo says, what video? I just posted a, I just posted the link for it right there. Thank you. Thank you. Alpha Prime, only carry on. That's not a way to win. <laughs> That's no way to win the giveaway, man. That's no way to win a giveaway. But nah, this video was fun to make because I was messing around with comedy a little bit with my alter ego. I got to come up with a name for that, man. It can't be Ron. Maybe he'll be Ronald, or maybe he'll he'll be Ronathan, or something. What's a good name for my alter ego? Let me know. <laughs> Data Crew has a sale on now, but up buy up those Live With Purpose shirts, says Dave. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you. It's a good fit. It's the quality of the shirt's nice. You know what I mean? And the messaging is on point. The Live With Purpose. <laughs> Oh, yeah. At this point, I stuff a whole FPV drone in there. I put the laptop in and it fit, but it it fit the bag, but the bag will no longer fit in the carry on once you stuff the hell out of it. So it is good for just packing it in and you can see, you know, it's busting at the seams. Ron, you should get a wig for your alter ego says Earl. Hey, <laughs> that's actually not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. 
I feel like I'm ideally uh, suited for that. <laughs> Ron Pack. Not Ron Quaff. Ron Pack, says Jeremy. Yeah, that's a good one. It's all umami, says, I'm going to Japan in May, trying to be minimal. What's something you'd absolutely take with you? Mmm. It depends on what you're carrying, but I would either take a sling or a day bag. Something smaller than like a 30 liter backpack. It's all umami. Because uh, that's one thing I messed up on when I went down to go to Disneyland this past trip. I brought this 30 liter bag, but uh, I didn't bring any other bag. And so, you know, at Disneyland, you know, you got, you got your kid with you. You got your wife with you. You got your friends with you. You're packing a lot of stuff. Water, sunscreen souvenirs that you buy and so i ended up carrying this hauling rather hauling this 30 liter backpack on my back at disneyland and it wasn't fun it wasn't fun it was it was well equipped but it wasn't fun and so i if i were to do it all over again i would bring like a 16 liter bag or a 20 liter bag maximum here i'm just gonna pause it right there that's a that's a great final pose <laughs> that's a great Bruh. that's a great final that's a great final frame there but uh yeah David Hurst brings up a good point. Umami, take underwear. I'd probably do that too. That's probably one thing I would absolutely take with me. But if we're if we're not talking about the, you know, the the essential things that you're already gonna take with you, and we're talking about like like, like what's one EDC gear minded thing I would take with me, it would either be a travel sling or a day bag. So you can have everything secure on your back and you have, you know, hands free if you just decide to bring a water bottle with you or if you buy souvenirs or something like that. Maybe you bring your camera, you know, if you're going to Japan, I'm sure you're taking photos. So you're going to have your Fuji, your Fuji film sitting in your sling. I would do that. Chris Bright asked what brands for slings should I look at? Uh, let's see. I recently looked at Code of Bell. They did the cross pod sling. That's pretty dope. I love how technically built out that is. Um, Air SF make great slings. Uh, the Black Ember TKS sling is really good, among others. It just depends on what you're using your sling for. So if it's for daily essentials, you're going to want to look at really minimal slings. But if you're doing something specialized, like bringing your camera with you, or you want to pack a water bottle, that's different as well. Ron Ultim should be your alter ego. It should be something Ultim related, you know what I mean? I feel like, you know, I always got a yellow shirt on or something like that. Maybe I need to get like Ultim framed glasses and just put on Ultim glasses. <laughs> Belroy Alpaca, Black Ember, Paul FTW says, yes, Alpaca is another great brand that makes a ton of bags in different sizes. So if you're ever curious about, you know, what's a four liter sling look like, what's a five liter sling look like, they've got a huge selection. You know, whether or not it's in stock is another issue because they're always rotating. But yes, very good. Okay, here, here's another point. Tim brought up Tom Talk, Blue Ridge, Overland, Harry Commission have nice slings. So those three brands already is such a huge style kind of range right tom talk is very like modern synthetic materials whereas carry commission is more like the wax canvas the leather the more kind of like patina worthy goods right so it depends on your style as well oh, let's see tom talk makes some good inexpensive slings they do they do they do if it's budget slings, I think it, it definitely has some solid contenders. Okay, we're going to do this drawing right now for this Tortuga backpack. Okay. Uh, YouTube comment picker. Oh, no. Yes. Okay. We're going to do this. Fetch. Anything goes. Keyword filter. Carry on only. All right. Let's go. Boop, 43 comments. You guys ready for this? One, two, three, go. Ryan Flegel, let's go. Congrats, Ryan. I don't know if you're traveling anywhere anytime soon, but you're going to be well equipped to go with this travel backpack 30 liter from Tortuga. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Ryan, for coming through. Enjoy the bag. Congratulations for winning it, bro. I know you're in the chat somewhere. You better claim this. What I need you to do is I need you to DM me at live with purpose EDC over on Instagram. And that way I can verify your identity and get your shipping details so we can get this straight away sent out to you. Tortuga, thank you so much for sponsoring this giveaway with that awesome 30 liter travel backpack. Solid unit. Ryan, you're going to have a good time. He says, hey, let's go. I'm ready for next my next trip. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to take this thing? 
Where are you going to take this thing, dude? I'm excited for you. Anyways, y'all. That's it for me. I'm hungry. I got to do some dinner. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Special shout out to my members here in the chat. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting me with the super chats, with the memberships. You guys are real ones, each and every one of you. Thank you to our giveaway sponsors, Urban EDC and Tortuga, again, for sponsoring the two giveaways we did tonight. Congratulations to the winners, Kelly and Ryan. I'm going to be looking for your DMs real soon so you guys can get on with these winnings of yours. Enjoy your winnings. We'll see you again same time next week, all right? Live with purpose, take care, and uh, we'll catch you guys real soon. Peace.